Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're in front of my beautiful 2016 but dirty WRX and it's a Pro Team WRX if you don't know and you don't follow the channel. And in today's video we're doing something that I've been meaning to do that's actually already done in the car but that's because I'm filming the intro after I did it. So one of the things that's been bothering me for just about ever with my car is when I bought it it had a parent front plate relocation kit and I just never could get it to tighten. On my previous 2015 WRX, which was a limited, I put a EOS or something similar to that that I could buy on Amazon. So it's actually a cheaper option than the parent kit and I liked it way better. It holds the plate way better. It's not as loose, you can tighten it properly. It's on the car right now actually. I'm just generally happier with the way this one looks and feels and acts. So along the lines of what I like to do in this channel is bring you guys a cheaper option to doing something that people usually pay like 80 bucks for, sometimes even more. So I think this one was like $39. So I'll link it in the description below. We're gonna look at it for a second and then I will roll the, just the general install of what I was doing, flipping them out. So this video could also be how to install uh, because I basically take this one out and install the new one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's roll it. <music> This is the Perrin kit, as you can see, and what ends up happening is when I drive on the highway, it moves. Look at how easy it is to move. And I've done everything possible to try to tighten this down. I've done rubber washers, I've done all those kind of things, and they just get worn out in two seconds. So. So I've got the new one on and there 
are many reasons that you might want to do this. I mean, ultimately you could see the big problem with the old one. The new one's on, the car's super dirty. I'll show you, I'll show you the car right now. It's super dirty, so I do apologize. I just went on a road trip, so there's tons of bugs everywhere. I need to, I need to clean it. But as you can see, it's locked in there. It's not moving anywhere. I'm, you know, I'm putting a serious amount of force here. It's not going anywhere. The car in general looks great. I mean, I can't complain. It, it really, I think the car looks pretty good here. As you can see, I'll do a quick walk around. You know, maybe it's a little tilted right now because I just shook it, but it's the same, you know, it, lo it looks essentially the same as what the Perrin does, except it's half the price. And in my opinion, works far better. Again, it's a little tilted. Let's, let's fix it, let's fix it. Thank you guys for sticking through the video. I really do appreciate it. I, I wanna bring more options that are cheap and things that you guys could put on your car from Amazon because Especially in a time like this, Amazon's a great place to get parts because things come directly to you. It's fast, easy, usually two-day shipping, and ultimately, it's less dollars that you have to put in your car to make it look awesome. I think my car looks pretty damn good right now. I'm super pleased with the start of the build. There's a lot to do. Um, so definitely follow the channel if you're interested. Subscribe, hit that bell notification. I thought I was going to end the video too. It sounded like I was going to end the video, but... I wanted to say a few things because I just did my Saturday Night Live stream. It's been forever since I posted this video and I wanted to express to you guys that I'm feeling in a rut with this channel. Like we're, we're definitely getting viewership, we're growing, but I want to take the next step and I, I don't really know how to do it without some support from you guys. Not that you don't support me because you literally support me so much, but I want to know more about what you guys want to see in these videos. So. If you have ideas, if there are things about WRX's automotive stuff that you want to see, content you want to see, topics you want to see me address, describe them in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking. Come to some of the live streams on Saturday nights. I've missed a few, but had a great one tonight and a lot of people were here. So it's probably tomorrow or the next day for you. I'm probably going to post this on Monday. So I just want to keep you guys involved and I hope to do that by increasing the kind of cars that I have. I am actively looking for a couple new cars, so it should be fun. I want to increase the topics that I can cover. I may even start borrowing a few cars so that you guys can just get more information about more rides, more than just the WRX, and potentially have more fun with the channel. So lots to come. I just want to involve you guys more. I also did want to say that I am going to be planning a midwinter, early spring WRX Subaru, just in general, car meetup in the Boston area. So it's going to be socially distanced. We're going to be masks required, no stupid stuff, that kind of thing. So that we're all protected. But I've been asked time and time again to do this. So I thought I would do one in the winter where not a lot of stuff's happening so that when you guys are in the midst of, well, I wanted to do it earlier, but COVID. And I think that people are learning to be safe enough now that we can do something that's socially distanced. But in the midst of the lack of car scene, because in the winter here, nobody gets together. Hopefully we can get together and have a meet. I'll bring some camera gear. Maybe if you want to be part of the channel, get your car shot, tell your story about your car and your build, show up, come to the event. We can talk. I can t take shots, whatever. We can plan stuff in the future. I'm going to have hopefully some drones there. We can take some aerial footage, hit a different couple different areas. I know people wanted to do some driving in the Boston tunnel, car meetups, rooftops, garages, all your typical stuff. So should be fun. If you're in the area, I'll set up like a Facebook page event or something like that. And we'll do it a couple months ahead of time. So everyone can plan, potentially get it sponsored because I can do that which is a lot of fun. So maybe we can get some like discounts if you show up, maybe like little gift cards to some performance shops. We'll see. I'll try to make something happen. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, so I hope to see you guys out there. Uh, if you're not nearby, I don't know, maybe we can do like a Zoom call because something, I, I don't know. It's, it's tough because the live streams are great, but I think that some people want to add more to them and they want to show more about what they're looking for, more about their car, ask more specific questions. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll preface the next live stream by contacting some people. Or if you guys want to be part of the live stream, email me and maybe we can do like, I'll host an OBS thing so we can do like a Zoom and you can be part of the live stream and then everybody else can watch it and we can look at your car, do whatever we want to do. Uh, so email me if you want to do that. I'd be happy to do that. I really want to grow the community behind this channel. I think what I, my hopes with this channel is just to provide information. Uh, and enjoyment, but I think that like right now because of the size of the channel, I can't compete with the, some of the big YouTubers and I can't provide the every video has a modification and I can't provide the I have a new supercar or a new car every three weeks. But what I can do is hopefully answer all your questions specifically about the car that I drive, the car that I'm in, you know, I love and the platform that I love and I hope that I can 
more quickly now, broaden your knowledge about cars, look at other cars, and I hope to do a few videos about cars, financing, the money behind cars, making money on cars, that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for everybody that was at the live stream today. It was cool to see that many people on the live stream. It was actually, I think it was the most people we've ever had on a live stream at once. I could not even keep up with the comments, so it was awesome. It's a great place to be because then I can talk forever and I don't feel like I have to like, make up stuff as I go because it's always great to answer your guys' question and especially see the interaction between each other in the live streams. That's a lot of fun for me. So I appreciate it. Lots to come. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's funny, even if you watch all my videos, a subscription means a massive amount to the channel just because the more subscriptions we get, the more chance I have to bring parts to the channel and parts to you guys, and the more YouTube will show my videos to you guys and more consistently. So that being said, if you are subscribed, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, you can give me a thumbs up, but you don't have to. It's always what you guys want to do. Just know that it greatly helps the channel, greatly helps the video, and greatly helps me as a creator bring content to you guys. Thank you.